Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel Coders Logic. So as discussed in the last video, we will be going to cover this permissions activity available in the drive under the permission folder. So as you can see, there are the four activities available, available like delete file permission, get file permission, share file and the update file permission. So it is clear by their name why these activities are being used. So this delete file permission activity is being used to delete a particular permission from a file like if the file is being shared by some users and the that user is having the permission as a writer reader or the commenter so you can delete that permission by the permission id and this get file permission is being used to get the permission uh, so this will return an array of permissions so all the users which are having the access to that particular file we can get all the permissions by using this activity and the share file is activity is being used to share the file with the user or with the group of users or uh, to a domain or to anyone this file is being used or uh, this activity is being used used to share that file and this update file permission is being used to update the permission like if uh, for now if the permission is as a reader for a particular user so by using this update file permission activity we can update the uh, a role as the writer of the commenter for the uh, by using this particular activity so let's cover all the four activities one by one so our first activity will be the share file activity so this share file activity is uh, getting used to share this file with a particular user so you can use this activity inside the google drive scope only if you will try to use it outside the scope it will start throwing an error so you, we can browse the file from here or we can enter the id id as well so by browsing if i'll browse it from here so i'll browse and i'll select the schedule file as i've selected it and as of now if i'll show you in the drive okay so i have this schedule file and in this schedule file this file is having only one user access now as of now it only one user is having the access for this file you can see this is the owner of the file but if i will use the share file activity this file it will be shared with one more user so whoever the user inside this variable so i'll show you there is one more email id query.coders.lobby at gmail.com so this file will be shared with this user as well and what will be the role for that particular user the role will be the writer and we can check this checkbox and it will send the email as well to that particular user like this file is shared with you by that user so let's debug it so it is being executed and go to the drive so execution has been done and if i'll show you i'll refresh it from here first we have to refresh only then it will be updated and once it will be refreshed let's click on this and in this information in the details section we can see the details so is who is having the access now you can see this coders lobby now is having the access as a, a writer for this file and if i'll show you in the manage access as well so you can see he, this coders lobby is the editor for uh, this file now so this is how we can share the file with any users or group of users or you can see we can share it with a group of users or any groups or we can share it uh, with a domain or with anyone we can share this file so this is how we can use this activity let's comment it out and go with our next activity which is get file permission activity so why this get file permission activity is, is being used it is being used to get the permissions uh, regarding the file so it will what it will return if i'll show you in the google drive documentation you can see there is there are number of uh, properties are available what that particular activity will return as for the specified file like it will return the kind or uh, the id of the permission or the role of the uh, role of the permission or the type of the permissions so everything the email address the domain the expiration time that activity will return so what is the type of this uh, output for this activity it will return an array of permissions so that permission element will contains multiple values which i have shown you in the google drive documentation 
what is the input required for this particular activity is the file id so which i have already passed it over here and the uh, we will we will iterate each of the element under this uh, uh, for the output of the this get file permission activity so what will be the type of argument you can see here as the google apis to drive dot version 3 data permission X. this will be the argument type and there are multiple properties for this uh, output will be so what and all i will going i'll be going to display the display name the email address the role and the permission id as well so let's debug it and we will see what and all the things are available over here and also let's put a breakpoint over here so that i can show you in the locals panel what and all the properties it will return so let's step in okay here as you can see there are the two elements so the number of access the file will be having and same uh, same number of permissions this activity will return so you can see here the allow file discovery the deleted the display name domain the email address e tag expiration time all the things this activity is returning whatever is mentioned over there in the documentation so you can see the portal link and the role so all the things will be returned so this is how we can use the uh, get file permission activity let's click on continue it will show okay it has logged it so you can see the display name for the first permission was the coders lobby and this is the email address this is the role and this is the permission id same the second permission was regarding the owner so this is the display name this is the email id and this is the role and at the end this is the permission id and after this we will go with one more activity which is update file activity okay so i will update the file permissions so as of now the user is having the right permission so in the role uh, i have you can see i have stored the value as a writer so wherever this uh, permission will be matched with the value a writer so it will update the permission as a reader you can see here in the properties we can set the expiration time so uh, this time uh, this role will be uh, set for that particular time whenever that time will come this role will be uh, rolled back so like whatever the role was earlier so it will be made as same so let's you can see what is the input needed for this file the file id and the permission id so permission id we can get from here and the file id we can also get by using some of the extra activities that we have covered in our previous video you can go through it so okay now let's run it let's go here as of now you can see this user can edit the file but soon you will see the permission will be updated as read only all right the execution has been done Let's go here and refresh it. Okay, let's select the file and go to the details. Click on manage access, and here you can see this user is become the viewer. So last time it was editor, now it is the viewer only. So this is how we can update the permissions for the file itself and similar kind of activity we are going to use which is delete file permission activity so we want to delete the permission for this file like we want to revoke the access for this file from this user so let us make it as a reader Okay. Let's see. Okay, the reader open. So there 
whenever the role will come as the reader, it will delete that file permission. So, and same the input is needed like file ID and the permission ID, same input are needed for this particular activity. And let's run it. Go here and just wait for a moment till that process get executed. Okay, the execution has been done. Uh, if you know if you have noticed that here uh, like two profiles were coming but now there is no profile is coming let's refresh it and i'll show you now let's click on the manage it is and you can see the uh, access from that particular user is revoked now now the owner is having the access only no one else can access this file so this is how we can use this permissions activity we can share the uh, share the file get the permission delete the permission or update the permission for a particular user so this was the agenda for today uh, thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed the video hit the like button below and if you have any question regarding this topic or any other topic please leave the comment below i'll do my best to answer that questions and also don't forget to subscribe our channel